So guys, today we're going to talk about the delete attribute built-in function in Python 3. I want to start with something that will not work. So I created a Jeep dictionary, you know, added a, a couple attributes here. And then what you'd think you'd be able to do is delete that HP attribute from the dictionary. But let's run it and take a look. Uh, that'll give you attribute error. Dict object is has no attribute HP. And the basic idea is you just can't use delete attribute on dictionaries. It just doesn't work. Now, if we have that same information in a class, same couple attributes, we can use delete attribute and delete HP. We can run that and no attribute error is coming up. Now, the next step is we actually want to prove that we're, you know, deleting this thing successfully. So let's print that out and see what that looks like. Um, there's a couple ways to do it. But you could use dict, and we could do a little before and after, and print that out. Obviously, it looks very messy, but you can see before we have the HP in the model, and afterwards, the HP is nowhere to be found. We just have model. That being said, there's a cleaner way to do this. So let's get rid of these print statements, and what I'm going to do is bring in uh, a little function that I wrote, a little for a loop as well. And basically we're going to loop over uh, the Jeep and the dictionary implicit to the class. And this if statement is just going to get rid of all that extra junk. So we can print that. Um, and obviously we're running this after the delete attribute. So now we only see model. Um, maybe it's worth mentioning that this second argument needs to be a string. You can go over to the docs here. You can see there's two arguments, object and name, and the arguments have to be an object and a string. So just make sure we're going to delete something. Make sure uh, that HP or whatever attribute it is, just make sure it's in a string. The docs also talk about how uh, delete attribute is equivalent to uh, this other delete way of doing it. Um, so I have something to share. I found this one uh, Stack Overflow question I like. Which is better, delete or delete attribute? You know, there's kind of two different ways to do to do very similar things. And I like this response. Um, just important to note that the first is more efficient. So delete is more efficient than delete attribute. So if you're really speed conscious, you might want to look into delete. I think that's pretty much it for now, though. Thanks for watching.